you know, it was a matter of time till I made such a video. It's not exactly surprising if you watch me play this game for the longest while. And even now, I plan to step back. I don't know when I'll come back, but I will keep an eye on updates of how this game turns out over time. Maybe even go into the game and peek in. But eventually I'm going to fade out of this game. Like, to a point that I might not like ever show anything for it. Unless something interesting happens with the even Galeon collab here from Tower of Fantasy itself. It's about time we move on. It's been a while since I've been on this game. I don't know what's happened. this stuff. <laughs> cool. Also, if you had noticed, yeah, I got this girl. Managed to get her 25 pity. Just doing singles off the banner. I was gonna dedicate a stream to it, but I chose to not do it. A lot of things haven't changed since I... Last check, but obviously, has been on. Crew's been doing his thing. And I'll be honest, I really enjoy being in this crew. You know, for the time it was. This is. Still the best crew out there. Still the best crew, at least on console. Which is pretty crazy. Well, that we had as good of a crew. I had been in a different crew before I uh, ended up in guys, but like this group was pretty cool. They had their own Discord and whatnot. I like that. Power hasn't changed much, but I'm pretty sure, if I haven't already said already, that throughout my playthrough, this game has always had an issue with its gear progression. I just didn't like it. Even now, even though I most recently had gotten these up there, it's just the gear progression is too fascinating to do. I don't like doing it, I don't enjoy it. But it's cool seeing how slow my CS goes up, but it, you know, it could be kind of fifty on this hammers, but yeah. Power hasn't changed much since I last played, but the whole point of me is just to look back at what my account had at the time. This is what I wanted to show. Oscar also got that. You know, a lot of these things pretty cool for the time I got them, all well, these are standard down here, all well, these are standard. Except for up to here, got Asuka's weapon recently, so of course it's not high. Got Fiona by utter luck, it, it, it is glorifiably too shit. I'm just gonna skip it, I don't expect to get any I don't, I don't understand how the heck I can use that, but pretty cool. I wanna hear when I first started the game. This was a limited, limited character. First limit that I pulled for was this character. You won. Going through this portion, I was basically just showing off what units I pulled for. It wasn't that many. Some of them were just utter luck. But I got Yulon as my first character that I actually ever pulled for with Yulon when I first started. It was on my anniversary. And she just came out and whatnot, I think, around that time. And Leo is still my favorite. Like, my favorite, like, girl and whatnot in this game. I just really like her. But there's a lot of weapons that I liked. Like, you know, like Han. I really liked her. There was also Mimi. I really love Wong. She was really awesome. Wong. All these units that I pulled for carried me on my account throughout the time. Just being able to actually enjoy the game for what it was worth. You know, minus the matrices. She was 
already. Also, the weapon that I missed, like Ming Jing. Funny how we still only hear her Japanese voice for Asuka. I don't know what direction Tower Fancy put the go through after the Evangelion. Hello. But after a while, I've been wondering after exploring Domain 9 and doing the story, you know, I couldn't see like the finale of like the cutscene and whatnot since I play on PS4. I really, really, really like this map. Just seeing the map like this and everything was really cool. The thing I didn't like though is that the world is absolutely massive. In one way, that I like it, it can also be the reason why I dislike it, but if I go down this route, I'm just going to have to talk about the faults of my experience with playing this game. And of course, I'm sure these are complaints that happened even when the game first came out, but I know there was a lot of problems that the game had when it first came out, and when it had first came out, it was a bit different. Back then, it was even I could even go as far as to say that when it first came out, Tower Fantasy had some problems at least fixed over time. Because they really had to focus these things. But it's still not perfect, right? And the game still has a lot of issues. But I'm not going to talk about it because that's just for somebody else to talk about. There are people on YouTube that talked about a lot of the current issues that Tower Fantasy is facing. So it is what it is. It still makes me sad though that I'm moving on from this game over time, but I'm making this video to just basically tell you I played this game long enough, and even though I might still take a peek and look at things, I'm probably gonna move on. I will say this, Asperia was probably my favorite map to explore. I don't know why, but I really enjoyed the experience and the story throughout this area. The story was pretty dragged out given that the story made you go everywhere on the map to specifically unlock the teleport waypoints and everything so you can actually go there through a story, which was like its own story in Asperia. And then I really didn't enjoy the exploration of this area, but it still was an experience nonetheless, so not like I can't say much about Vera. I will say this though. I really loved the actual Vera storyline, and it was definitely my favorite experience in this game. Like, I enjoyed the Vera storyline more than like most stories that I knew in Genshin, because it was just so endearing and interesting and full of plot twists, kind of. It's like, it had its own designated direction that it went, but it really surprised me leading up to the end, because I just didn't expect it. But I guess it do be like that sometimes. Also has some wild areas like the this, which I, I like this area. It was already. There's more I could obviously show, like for example, my other stuff like artificial island. I actually enjoy doing this, even though I just do not like the process of this. This is like really dragged out. They made it way too lengthy. Like I couldn't fully focus it, but I focused it just to max it out to try and see what I could get from five star matrices. But Matrices being like the special things that progressively make your gear stronger. So, you know, your weapons in this game. Or technically kicked. It has these things like artifacts to them. It makes you stronger. But they make it so hard to get these resources that I just do not like the system. I feel like it shouldn't be as hard as it is to get these. I think it's fine that it does take a little bit of time, but like it takes a bit too long to get the resources you need to get. And it takes a long time to get somewhere in the game because it just takes way too long to make these. It, it's not okay. It really isn't. Dailies were nice. The Mia's Kitchen was cool. I like the concept behind it, but uh, can't do much with Little Mia. But just. Buffs for it. It's cute, but we're still more to this. I guess it is what it is. I love joint operations. It reminded me of Heroic Strikes from Destiny in a way. We just go in, 
fight a ton of enemies and fight a big boss at the end. This was really fun to do. I enjoyed the experience of this. A bunch of trolls. Also pretty nice, but again, I feel like the progression in this game, the system, is just... Eh. I did like the auto thing. That was nice. To go through, like, my vitality, which is our... Resource the stamina that we can use to get specific resources, but they're limited to us, so we can only get a certain amount every day. This game had raids, which was really awesome. Grumal was another type of, I guess, end game thing. Never got to fully enjoy it because the hard community to see us gets kind of like to win a level type thing. Because I think I could get up here, like I have. Progression really set the character to will in investment, which it is what it is. It's just like bygone phantasm, which you get rewarded based on the leaderboard system, which can be good or bad in the eyes of the beholder. I don't think it's horrible, I just don't think it's a great system. I've been mostly in Domain 9, always farming the resources for the area of the regions, or sub regions of the areas that I usually reside in by state in my area every time I log in. But that, that's beside the point. It's interesting that when I had done all that farming, even though I enjoyed the exploration of how massive the map was, I really disliked the overall feeling of it after doing some of it or a good amount of it. After a while, even though it's the same thing with exploration, this is kind of a problem that every exploration game really suffers from, so it's not just Tower Fantasy. But I still enjoyed the feeling of being able to scale a lot of large areas that were very huge and took very long to explore, and we had a gadget where we could just run up the mountain, which is pretty cool. And I really, really enjoyed it, but it was tough to say that it was just not my favorite area to explore, like every area of Domain 9, I didn't really super push it, but I loved how different it felt in most areas, except for maybe the final area, Aquaville. I just didn't like the way it looked. It looked a lot worse than I thought it was going to, but it is what it is. It's not the greatest, not the worst, but it could have been a little bit more different. That's just me. That's my group, but who cares about that? whole point is, I'm moving on. I'm moving on from this game, and I'm not going to move on right away. I'm going to prepare myself and slowly fade out like I did with another game, and I'll keep an eye on it. I'm going to still keep an eye on the releases because they had that Evangelion collab, Evangelion, and I really do like that recently they showed a trailer for Rei Ayanami, and it's pretty cool. She's pretty much my type, kinda. The vibe she gives off, I like her. So, yeah. Trailer was really nice. Very, very cool. Seems like they're gonna also put the main character of Evangelion in there as well at some point since they plan to play Rei in there. So, that's cool. But, I I'll keep an eye out for it. But, I probably am from my crew. I'm probably gonna fade out of that game eventually as I don't really get on dailies and all that stuff. It's just mentally straining to keep doing it and I'm not really getting anything out of it. I just get on to keep an eye on the game and see if there's a reason for me to come back or not. There's always other things that I could have tried. There are other endgame modes I couldn't do because of queue problems. It was very stressful for me. I really hated that portion. There were specific endgame modes that I just could not do solo because you'd have to need a very high real investment to do that. And that's another form of imbalance that the game suffered from. Again, the game has a lot of problems, but I ain't putting that out in the videos that people got stuff out there on YouTube that talks about these things. And there was a lot of game modes that are like this. A lot of them require you queuing with other players, but most of the time, if you're not in a good crew, or if you can't get enough people on around the time that you're on, it becomes kind of stressful trying to get someone around your level as well, to some extent, to be able to help out each other and get some things done. But there is some pluses for the online open world RPG that the game gives off, but yeah, 
this was Tower Fantasy. I enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time.